You, you, you are now tuned in to the Chronicles Podcast, hosted by the homie, Cuzzo. You, you, you busy. We back. What's happening? What's up? You know what I wonder? I wonder at what point, <clears throat> excuse me. like, I'm not a smoker, but like, when you cough like that, do you think you self-reflect like, yo, it might be time to quit? <laughs> Or do you say, fuck it, because I'm already coughing like this? Wait, if you're coughing like that, is it already too late? I don't know. Motherfucker get drunk and drive up a tree and hit, kill people. Drink, drink and drive, and they still don't stop. Jesus. That is very mucusy. You can hear the mucus just moving around, if that's mucus. I don't know. That could be just, I don't know. We, all, we don't always <clears> do things that... Uh, <laughs> safe, safest for us, whether it's overeating, drinking, uh, you know, overindulging in stuff, certain things. You know, I uh, it was funny because we were talking last week. It was last week we were talking about heaven. I was it so. Week? So I thought it was funny because uh, HBO Max has the documentary about the Heaven's Gates thing that we was talking about a little bit. The I Heaven's was going to watch that. Yeah, the Heaven's Gates when oh, they yeah. ate the applesauce and wore the Nike Cortezes. I didn't see that. Yeah, it's a documentary. I don't, I don't think it's called they Heaven's the Gates. Though. Yeah, that's what happened. They ate like poisonous applesauce. They were in all in bunk beds. Ooh, and then they were all wearing Nike Cortezes. Who? The cult. The one that thought the UFO was going to come pick him up and take him. Oh. Them. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. They gave Nike Cortez a bad name. That's my favorite shoe. <laughs> they all wore Nike Cortezes. Why they give them Nike Cortez? I don't, I don't know what the correlation was with the Nike Cortezes. I don't think we'll ever know. I, I'm going to watch the documentary and see if we can find out. I really want to know what the correlation was. You know? Yes. Okay. <laughs> If you say so, I mean, if you if you into if you're into what's it called it's like that documentaries, I watch a few real doc. Oh well, I guess that's some Jim Jones shit. They had a couple Jim Jones documentaries, right? Yeah, they had one. Yeah, I'm telling you, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, those they had on Nike Cortez. Oh, I didn't see about this one. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the court. Maybe well, these ones the, aren't Cortezes. Yeah, those are Cortezes. No, they're not. Yeah, they're yeah, Cortezes. No, they're not. Those aren't Cortezes. Let me see. They even got a, a what's it called? An article no. about the dude that sold the Cortezes to him. Unless they're a different style. I never see Cortezes like that. You know, some niggas sell knockoffs. 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 <laughs> stupid. I know you're a little bit too young for Cortezes. But... Yeah, the story is on sneakernews.com. The story of the Nike employee that sold shoes to Heaven, Heaven's Gate's cult the day before its mass suicide. Right, but those aren't Cortezes. Those are regular running shoes. They weren't Cortezes. Mm-hmm. Brother, it says it's Cortezes. Well, maybe it's a different style. I've never seen One anything. of the most controversial Nike sneakers in history is the Nike Decade, a running sneaker that was worn. Oh, the Nike Decade, maybe. I thought they were Cortezes. They're Nike Decades. That's why the heel was higher on them. Another misinformation from this nigga. <laughs> a running sneaker that was worn by 39 members of the Heaven's Gates cult for its earth shattering mass suicide in 97. Let you tell me. Nike decades. <laughs> uh, decades, Cortezes. One's just higher than the other. That's it. They both Nikes. Now, I just now the backpedaling. I just want to know now the backpedaling. I just want to know what the correlation was with the Nikes. If I could ever ask, dude, I just like why the applesauce, why the Nikes? Like, how did those two? He probably wrong about the applesauce too. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> prolifera of bad information lately. Uh, yeah, I think it was the applesauce and the Nikes. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh. And the Cortez. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Oh, oh. Close.
close enough. You know. So how's the salt on the Capitol doing? They see they're arresting people now. Well, yeah, now that they sitting up here realizing that you see the the news and they is let out. all the motherfuckers go home. Well, <laughs> the, well, the news is coming out now. I did mean, they even make one arrest? I guess they yeah. did. Well, yeah, they've been making. They, they no, I mean the day of. Mm, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. Either. But but there more and more stuff is coming out now that they're saying it was organized. Man, Investigators. Did you believe that? The Investigators people, are reviewing footage of hand of course, signals and everything like that. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. I guess we don't. I guess we're not going to talk about John Sullivan then, huh? Who's that? Oh, never mind then. Like I said, I've been paying attention. Okay. One of the dudes that sat up here and got charged. Yeah. A brother. And. Who was there on under the guise of covering it, but he was stirring shit up. So they say. Or you, you should say allegedly. So they say. You, you, were you there all of a sudden? Well, I, were you the other brother there? I don't have to be when they have I the footage. If you the footage that, is already linked. What, does, what does the footage say? You'll have to watch the footage. I'm not going to watch the footage. <laughs> you brought him up? Why would I have to watch it if you brought him up? I mean, he says he says in there to his uh, co-host, who I, I guess works for CNN, which they magically interviewed the dude and act like he was just a journalist on site. And she said, we did it, and look what we did, and... We did what? Got into the Capitol. They got, you know, he sat up here in a... So that he, means they planned it? You, you're not. Let me finish. Okay. You're... you're I just asked a question. Been, so... Know. Who's we did it? Who are you talking we? He is one of the people he that... who? John Sullivan. Okay. Is one of the people that they're saying is one of the possible inciters... It's more than one. Incited, a lot of a lot of footage is leaking. That's what people ins, don't realize. Inciters to as far okay. I'll let you finish. Go ahead. Of of breaking in the Capitol. Okay. Because the way it, it's it's awkward because you have reports because one reporter that I was following kind of timed it up because the people Time that came up. the people that came from Trump's rally because Trump was giving his speech when a lot of that shit started. So the majority of the supporters and everything were on one side and then shit started at the Capitol. So people were saying from the time people left that speech to go to the Capitol, there there wouldn't have been enough time for them to get there and be those people that did that. I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? can't think of the word. It's a lot of uh, researching and shit, but I mean, the average person doesn't want to look into all this shit. I'm willing to look into it. I, I'm waiting for the rest of that you have. That's, well, that's so far, all the research you've well, done? well, the problem with John Sullivan is the fact that CNN had him on and the white chick with him and they pretty much damn near acted like they didn't even know who they were. What do you mean? Trying to make it like he, he was talking about how he was there just to cover it and he he wanted to uh, make sure he documented what was going on, oh, but so this, but he's, he's a got he doesn't work for the network, right? But the, okay. the the chick apparently does. Okay, but you know they got footage that's released of you know she's saying, uh, "Did you get that? This is going to be historic and all this and that." And he's like, uh, 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 "Don't worry, I got it, but I'll delete that later." Just shit they were saying. Does that sound like editing? No, he said, I'm going to delete this later. This what? The shit that they were talking about. Okay. <laughs> That's not editing? You don't delete stuff when you're editing? Right, but he was saying he was going to delete the shit he was saying right then and there. I'll delete this later. Not then and there later, he said. Right, but apparently but what did they apparently say? Did he, he did forgot they, to. What, forgot <laughs> and to delete what? And, and when he forgot to delete it, <sighs> his ass got picked up. Well, but up. but apparently he's they'll, released they can, on. They can pick up a. They can die a ham sandwich. Apparently I mean, he's released on bail now. I mean, they, like I said, I don't. I'm not. Or no bail, excuse me. What? Apparently he got released no bail. O O R. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds really deadly. Insurrectionist. Yeah. O R. You think you know for a motherfucker to be in there just recording this shit? That motherfucker need to stop it. That shit is no. ridiculous. 
because there's no uh, you're not just a journalist in there recording people doing shit because you could be charged too. So How? What the fuck? because what what so what, if with the trespassing it <laughs> <laughs> that I mean if if, if I sit if up here bre- if if somebody break in somewhere right right and you and you and you're recording it right. You go in under the guise of being a journalist. Well, you don't have to. You don't have if, to take a you, test to be a journalist. You, so you don't have to, have to be you right. Don't, you don't but need to but ser- but but you still to be inside the Capitol. Mm-hmm. You still have to have some type of credentials, some something. Oh, if, if oh we, so you have to have credentials while they're breaking if, in. What I'm saying is, if you <laughs> if you sit up here and go, let's just say you're you're planning to kidnap. No, 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 no. That changes it. You just now you just now okay. you just said I let's was just say, breaking the law. Let's just say you're planning to sit up here and go downtown mm-hmm. and break into the mayor's office. Well, you are that's committing a crime, right? So let's just say I'm <clears throat> I'm going there. Oh, and you said I'm planning it. You're planning okay, it. Okay, okay, I got you. Now. And I'm there. I see you breaking in, mm-hmm. and I'm following you. Let's let's mm-hmm. just assume this, mm-hmm. and I'm recording. Under the guise of me recording this for Chronicles podcast, because I want to get some on the scene shit. Okay, that's not gonna fly when law enforcement comes. Well, what did you? What did he do wrong? What did the guy who? What did the person do? They had him on the footage. Other person? They they had him on footage. I guess he had damaged some property. Okay, they well. Th- this is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So. <clears throat> If I were to do that, but I didn't damage any property, I did. They didn't find out that I helped plan to break in the store. But you're that, trespassing. Whatever, At that point, it. you're just trespassing. Okay, right. Then. Right. So what does it, what is the big shindig? He, he got caught doing what? Trespassing? Destruction of pro- <laughs> destruction of property? What? What are we trumping this up to? Are you you make it sound you like you just named two you, charges, right? Yeah, there. but you act like he planned a bomb. If he's if his plan was to sit up here and if shit, there you go if there off you, the there, footage I'm not off under, the footage what is what is the, <laughs> okay let's let's get all these facts out you haven't seen the footage right <coughs> you haven't seen the footage right no, I haven't seen the okay so then it's it's hard to sit up here and explain it to you when you haven't seen I don't the see how is it hard for me you to explain it to me you saw it right. <laughs> I saw the footage. Okay, okay, so how come you can't explain it to me? Because you're the ultimate, uh, you're the ultimate. Ultimate what? A motherfucker that you can't just tell something to? No, you're the ultimate, I don't know. I didn't say it, I I didn't say I don't know one time Your your best remarks. What that has to, me saying I don't know has nothing to do. Your best remarks are I don't know or so what. Okay, (laughs) but those two (laughs) phrases Mm -hmm. has nothing to do with you explaining to me what you saw. On the footage. Where, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I asked you, what did you see? You're telling me, so I asked you a question about what you saw. Mm-hmm. And what you saw mm-hmm. doesn't equal what you're trying to tell me. Okay, so right. the fact that mm-hmm. we already said that he sat up here and was in there. Okay. Wasn't supposed to be in there. That's trespassing. trespassing. Okay. Misdemeanor. Uh, mm, mm, hold on, what? hold on, hold mm, on, what? hold on. You're saying that's still a misdemeanor at the Capitol building. It doesn't matter what building. <clears throat> okay. We'll, trespass we'll is trespass. It, I mean, I don't know when trespassing becomes felonious. Like, I'm you not mean saying, federal? Well, it, I mean, to be a fe, fe, I don't. I think federal doesn't have a misdemeanor. I'm not for sure about that. So you mean to tell me if I'm on White House grounds, let's assume White House. Okay. That's just misdemeanor trespassing. I don't know how the feds would would, would do it, okay. but I don't think it's a. It's, I don't think it's, with with him just walking on, with, with you just walking on capital property would make it a federal offense because it's federal property. But I don't know how high it up is in the federal uh, 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 code book. So that one we don't know. No. We could safely say we don't know. Okay, so what was the other one? Destroying government property. Okay. That's, I don't still see. I don't think he get a hundred years for that. I don't think it's insurrection. No, I'm not saying. I don't it's think. I'm not saying you right. say that. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a coup. I mean, mm-hmm. you bringing this to me like it's something. You just brought this guy down like he was like no, you, like he no, had caught with a couple of bombs or something. No, what I'm saying is okay. the fact that it. Well, oh, he was whispering. Yeah, we gonna get that motherfucker. What What I'm saying is the or fact that shit. it was misled. It was misrepresented in the news that it was just all Trump supporters. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you should have known that. 
Right. That was my whole point. <clears throat> oh, okay. Because CNN had this guy on. Who? Anderson Cooper had the the guy the guy we're talking about, John Sullivan. Okay. Who was sitting in there? Oh, I don't know. I was just there to report, and I don't know. Well, Chris is gonna minimize. He don't want to go to jail. <laughs> I wouldn't even be on TV. <laughs> You wouldn't be talking to no! Anderson, Anderson Cooper? Nobody. <laughs> Anderson Cooper was, I was there. there. Anderson... Are you, you had footage of me there? You saw me. You was there too. It was the, and shit, I don't know what the fuck nobody talking about. Uh... I don't give a fuck if it was trespassing or not. I'm not going to be talking on camera about no federal charges, period. So they, I mean. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Regardless, they've said they've casted the net wide now so they're looking into a lot of leads about this then the one that they were talking some mm-hmm. show was talking about oh yeah it was an insurrection oh yeah they were they were going there to no. kidnapping people i was like no. well why did they if if <laughs> if somebody oh they were going to overthrow the vote which they wouldn't they uh, any person with common sense but, knows they wouldn't have stopped right that. right right but how why would they wait till the senators got inside the building if if the whole plot, if there was a whole plot to try to stop the vote, I agree. Why wait till the senators are already inside? I agree. Why not get there early enough to capture them and zip tie them and kidnap them before they got inside the building? As a guy that's prior military with a little bit of common sense, <laughs> I would think that's that what that I instantly thought. When the these news, were... but but the news thinks people are stupid though. That's that you're using Obviously. common sense, and then. The average person, let's just say if I'm planning to do this, mm-hmm. the average person, well, if listeners don't know, because a lot of our listeners are kind of, they don't know stuff like this about, you know, movements and military and how Somebody people are safeguarded, how people are safeguarded mm-hmm. and shit. But if you were to do something like this, they have safeguards of where they would move individuals congressman the vice president who's you know a, a, a high value item or whatever you want to call well, they it know Nancy Cap- Pelosi. they know they may not have been right they know there may not have been that many people capital police there maybe they did maybe they know but they know they're armed mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. i didn't see that many people armed mm-hmm. if, if at all what does zip ties mean some people have zip ties that proves intent of doing something people have guns do they is that intent to, right. to do something right not saying it does it, now not saying it doesn't look bad mm-hmm. but you can't just prove intent by seeing what they have well Nancy Pelosi said in her <clears throat> speech I know I watch all this shit mm-hmm. she was saying that she's uh, not going to be surprised if some Congress people were involved in coordinating this from what she was saying. Well, maybe, <clears throat> maybe so. Because a lot of people are <clears throat> saying, a lot of people are saying that the, for some reason that day, the security was just extra lax. Uh, I'm not going to go into conspiracy theories. I mean, why not? Let's go. Because that's that's even we know even less about that. That's even that's talking about that that brings it down to even less what we know about it. Mm. It could be anything, man. I this is what I said happened. This is what I this is how I formulate what what I think happened. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> there was a bunch of people there. There was from what I saw so far, and I haven't did a lot of studies, so I could be absolutely wrong. But this is what I'll say. From what I saw. If you look at the pictures of how many people were there that day, standing on the Capitol, that, hope, that, hopefully that if was, it was a real picture. That, right, exactly, because I was going to say that was all after the fact. A lot of those pictures weren't uh, weren't as shit was happening, which is odd, but okay. Well, I'm, I'm saying, okay, well, I say that as many people that were depicted outside after the, the, the thing standing around to be photographed, there wasn't that many people trying to break inside the the, the, the the Capitol. Right. They were just protesting outside. Okay. So what that says to me is that <clears throat> what I was saying in the last episode, there were some people there, whether they were supporters or not, who decided to break inside the Capitol. Mm-hmm. Some, somebody busted, was the first person hit the rock, threw the rock, this or that. Boom. It's a group, uh, what, group think, a crowd movement, however you, ca- however you call it. Right. <clears throat> They got their asses in there. Mm-hmm. That's it. 
That's it. Yeah. Some people probably went there with the intention. Maybe, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Why did they have zip ties? Hmm, I don't know. That's it. Maybe they wanted to tie their wallet to them. Well, it's pretty big. They look like zip ties where you put hand wrists in, but so <laughs> a little big for wallets, but. Maybe they just had something to zip tie. You never know when you need a good well, zip tie. Well, I'm, I'm saying that, <clears throat> not saying that it wasn't, I'm saying that what I just believe. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I there's no way I can explain why a person had zip ties. If, if you get pulled over and there's an axe in your back seat and the cop says, what are you doing with that axe in None your back seat? None of your business, seat? officer. And he says, you know, some people use axes to commit murders. And you could say, well, some, some cops people, have committed murders too. Well, you could Should say, I well, be scared of you? You could say, well, some <clears throat> people use axes to cut down trees too. Right? <laughs> I would have said, as long as there's no blood on it or anything that looks like blood, mm-hmm. mind your business. Right. Axe True. is not illegal. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so moving right along. <laughs> So I could ride around in my car with a back seat full of zip ties and I could be fine. You should I'm be. well within my right. As far as I know. I could walk around in Diamond Mall with zip ties in my hands. No, you couldn't. A white man could. <laughs> should we put this to the test? Should I walk around Diamond Mall with zip ties in my hand? Or what you trying to do, get the police called on I'm you? just saying, just to see if that would be an issue. If somebody asked, well, why you got, I just want to walk around with zip ties. In Alaska, you might make it. <laughs> if you were somewhere else, you probably wouldn't make it. So a black dude walking around a mall in California with some zip ties nah. would be a little suspect. Well, it depends on what mall. If you was, if you was at the Eastmont Mall... Yeah. It'd be suspect. No, that's in the hood. I think that's what you used to call it. <laughs> so if it's in the hood, nobody would care, right? Nobody would. <laughs> now you went up to where Hilltop or whatever, wherever the good <laughs> shit, yeah, you go to jail. Do you think any white people would just come out and ask me flat out why I have zip ties in my hand? Not before they call the police on you. <laughs> People have asked me, and I want to get your thoughts on it. What? People want to know, why the fuck is there so many soldiers at the Capitol? Why does it take 30, what are we at, 20 over 25,000 National Guard now? And Joe Biden's not even going to sit up here and have a, uh, he's doing it virtually. They have. The uh, motherfucker's late. Oh, what are they doing in there? They have high ass fence, <laughs> and now there's barbed wire on top of the fence now. <laughs> After this shit happened, <laughs> and people keep from, government from, waste from I the guess. from the stuff I've been looking at online. Nobody's even talking about protests or anything. And so, so what did they? What is the point of all this? I think it's too late. <laughs> you got motherfuckers back in guard. They call it a dude. The brother that was whole now he was supposedly uh leading the, 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 the crowd away from the senators. Well, who? The dude, the one you ever see the post on, on on Facebook, the dude they say quote unquote is a hero that he was actually not running from the crowd but leading the crowd away from the the sen- the chamber or whatever he was It was a brother? Yeah. Oh. Depicted as a hero. <clears throat> yeah. Huh. I wonder why he didn't shoot nobody. Did he have live ammunition? He had a pistol. I don't but, know. But yeah, that's now, what I don't I'm give a fuck if it was live or not. <laughs> what you gonna shoot blanks at niggas? It, he going not have. I mean, rubber bullets. Why would he have blanks in his gun? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. We don't know what he had. We don't know if he had well, rubber if, bullets. If we, don't, had, we don't even know if there was a- anything in there. That's what I'm saying. It could have just been for show. I don't know why he wouldn't bust his motherfuckers upside the head. Hmm. 
He got his name? I can look it up. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to contact him for an interview. You can. <laughs> be interested. I asked the nigga, why was you running? <laughs> Is that the one that was running up the steps? Yeah. Well, well, I have a question about that one. Oh, okay. This is what's weird to me about that, which kind of seems like he was leading them to me. If we're talking about the same one, he would stop and they would stop. He would run up the steps and stop and turn around and they would run up the steps and stop in front of them. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to get in, wouldn't they just... see the Pied Piper? But wouldn't they just run past him while he's running up the steps? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Is he the Pied Piper? I, 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 he I, runs, I, they run. He stops, they stop. What are you playing? Freeze tag? <laughs> I, I don't know. Because I, I did see that. That's what I thought. This is what I would say. I, I'm not, I don't know what I would have done. I thought it was another dude. I didn't know I you were talking about that dude. Yeah, I don't know what I would have done in that situation, honestly. I think that. If I wanted the crowd to stop and I thought they were going to attack me, I probably would have shot a couple of them, or hit or bust one of them, a couple right. of them. Right, but I, and I totally get your perspective. So but I don't what, know what exactly he was doing. But I don't necessarily believe he was leading them away from the chamber. No, I don't. I don't necessarily because they didn't have to follow. They didn't have to follow him. Period. I just don't understand the thinking of the people that were supposedly <laughs> going there to riot or whatever. Why would they stop every time he stops? That's stupid. Well, I think <clears throat> they're in a confrontation. I think they're, he's, they're not in a confrontation. They if he are. if he's standing there, he wasn't even holding his arms up. Yes, he was. He, he was, was. He was. He was. I, it looked to me that he was trying to make a move back or not. So, <clears throat> if you look at this, let me see if I can find the footage. Because I saw him stand there, and then they'd stop in front of him. Then he would go up more steps, and then they'd follow him, and then he'd turn around and they'd stop. I'm like, what is he doing? Shit's crazy. Dosha's bringing up the footage today, y'all. We we recapping the, 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 I'm trying the to capital see if they, shit. If they have put it on here, because I don't know. Mm-mm. Do you know the dude's name to look it up? Mm-mm. This was right here. I think that's it. I can't thing. see it. Hold on, let me see if this is it. So they broke me in the cat. They broke me inside. Uh-huh. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. They need to move the fucking words out the way. Thank mm-hmm. you. We don't need you to describe niggas running into capital. We get that part. We don't need that digitally. We don't need it subtitled and all that shit. Somebody say that's my muffin. I paid for that. See, now, most of the people that you see right now are recording, and they're not running in any. They're just going down the hall recording. They don't look like, they look like they just broke in somewhere. That's insurrection. <laughs> Right? Look. That's him. Look. So he's t- it's a confrontation. So hold on, hold on. Did okay. it go off? That's what's his name? Eugene Goodman. And then he takes off running up the steps, right? He's backing up. He backs up. He is a confrontation with him. He's backing up. See, now look. Now look. I wouldn't have... See, he... Now, now they, they they didn't rush him. He had no reason to back up. See, yeah, look, so look, so look. Yeah, but he had no reason to back up. I agree. He had no reason to back up. He had no reason. They stopped. Yeah. That's Why, what I'm he's, saying. He's, to, like I said, to the, to the footage, to me, because they have a, the angle I saw was... This he's at the top of the stairs, and it was somebody was recording right at his side. And I'm like, but that was when he got to the second landing when he went up the stairs. When he went up this whatever which way he went, it seemed like he was leaving. Because there was somebody over when when you when you when you uh, when you're looking this way at him, there was somebody over here. I don't know who that mm-hmm. person was. It looked like he was leading them to me. How he was just telling them to go back. <laughs> it just it just seemed... he was telling them to stop. How all of a sudden, right? But 
Why wouldn't they just they run, why wouldn't they just run past him? That is my question for them. Well, you have to ask him. Why would he pop one of the motherfuckers? He might have been he might have been uh bluffing. It might not have been shit in that pistol. I'd take my shit out. Hey, y'all need to go that way. And I'm only gonna say that twice. I wonder, I'm only gonna say I, that shit one motherfucking time. I wonder if the they, next motherfucker will get the cat peel. I now go if, back outside. I wonder if they didn't issue ammo that day. You gonna wish they had? <laughs> Don't nobody want to find out if I got any real ammo. Who who want to find out if I got real ammo? Get your asses back the fuck outside. Yeah, cause they stopped. Yeah, y'all going the wrong way. They they broke the entering. Like I said, a lot of this shit about this whole Capitol Hill shit is suspect to me. I don't. I know mean, I mean, and then the footage. You see the footage of the cops just letting them in when they were outside, just waving them in. <laughs> you know, I would think if it's a brother working at the Capitol, he'd be tackling motherfuckers and everything. Like, hey, I need this job. I'm not, I'm not with my hands though, but I'm like, y'all need. I'm having my shit out, cock safety off. Hey, y'all need to get involved. Oh, well, you know, as brothers, we value our job. So I'm hey, saying. Ain't no job. I, I mean, I, but I'm saying, you know, like, yo, I can't lose this job. I gotta at least tackle one white boy. <laughs> I ain't tackling so, that. So, in case they got footage, they, they can't say. Shot. They can't say brother wasn't doing his job. I'm gonna say, I gave two commands <laughs> to get the fuck out of the building. They kept forward. Bing, bop, bop. That's yeah. it. Who else wanna get shot? Get out. Oh. Yeah, it's a mess. I don't. I don't know yeah. why he's backing up, hmm. but whatever. I guess uh, yeah, he did. He did what it, I have to say. He did what he felt was best in that situation. Hmm. No, that's crazy. Maybe he was following protocol. I don't know. Maybe you don't shoot people in the Capitol. I don't know. It could be that too. If they're, if they're breaking in, you would think that you would have every right to. Especially if it's a mob. I would think if it's if it's people in government, I thought that you'd have the green light damn near. You would think. I'm pretty sure you go somewhere like China and try to do that shit, you get getting pop. <laughs> I don't think people would try, try that. You can't even run talk. up, run up in North Korea and try that shit, and you'll catch you some hot. Speak ill of anybody. <laughs> you going to you coming up missing? You you run up in the Philippines in, in government and you, try to see how that you works out for you. Education place. <laughs> <laughs> in so many places. Try that shit in Russia they, and see how got, it pans but out. They got they got those black side options for where if they take people from the United States too. Don't think that the United States doesn't do that. Oh, shit I know, too. absolutely. But but I'm talking about like on the scene. Not just transporting you. Well, you you, know you go somewhere like Russia and try that you, shit. You <laughs> know what? I think the United States would do that too if they didn't have all this bullshit constitution shit. They be doing the same shit. Yeah, they barely want to follow that. You do that shit in Russia, man. They'll they'll pop you and goddamn leave you there till dinner. No, they'll, they'll go to lunch after dinner. they shoot you. They'll go to lunch after they shoot you and and come back and get the body later. I don't know if it's true or not. Mother gets sentenced to death. They go right there after after court gets gets sentenced to death. Go right on the side. Bam! Yeah, that's it. Ain't no twenty years waiting to kill you. <laughs> so we got it good over here. Even the, the sentence to death because motherfuckers make it out for death row in twenty years. Yeah, China, you ain't got twenty years. You, you got about yeah. three minutes. You got three minutes, and you might not you even got, get a last meal. You got three minute appeal. Can I get no? Bam! Yeah. You go. No, I don't know. They say they say we might have we gave you breakfast. That was your last meal. It's time to go. Where you going? They don't need food. Get your ass up out here. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck that. Just don't play around. I don't know. I mean, do you think this is a good question? Do you think that's what's needed now? What do you think? Do you think motherfuckers, if 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 we had shit like that on site, the motherfuckers wouldn't try that shit? And I'm talking with everything from like rioting. Were like rioting, like the riots that happened last summer and all that shit. Do you think if if, if our government actually checked motherfuckers more, no, that no. that would help? <clears throat> I think that would make matters worse. You think so? Yeah. 
Because human beings, that that would be that would be like saying that human beings don't make mistakes, which is that's not true. Yeah, but some places making a mistake can cost you dearly. Depending on the law, yeah. Right. But I don't think that I think the law should allow people to make mistakes. I mean, to be human. You so do, do you, you think? Want, do you think? Going to try to do outlaw mistakes? Do you think us as a country? So do you think we're too forgiving? That's what I'm saying. What would does that really mean? Like, for example, they, they always say if you go somewhere in the Middle East and steal something, I don't know how, I've never been to the Middle East and tried they to steal something, Turkey, but, but, but but you can get your hand chopped off. In Turkey, they say you So, you know, I bet that motherfucker won't steal again, right? So you think there's no people running around there with no hands? No, I'm saying that, but I'm talking about that person. You don't think there's a person with two missing hands? Like from America. There could be, but there probably—I mean, there has to be. There has to be. Maybe a woman. You think a guy? I, it could I, be anyone. I think a guy wouldn't want to chance that. Anyone. He needs something to jerk his tool with, right? <laughs> you know, somebody else do. <laughs> He's like, look, man, I'm not gonna steal again. I need this one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, do you think if we? If we had more harsh penalties like that here, then shit would motherfuckers would act right. No, you don't think so. No. Hmm. It's interesting. I think so. I don't know. There may be a few people. Yeah, if your mama checked you hard enough, she you made you second guess shit, right? Until when you were a kid, right? No, until she told me to get out. So she, your mom's never been able to check you in your lifetime. Of course. Yeah. Right, but when she stopped, I had to get out. When it stopped working, I had to get out. Mm-hmm. What about that? What if we just threw motherfuckers out the country? If that was the case, uh, I don't know. Because I, I was getting wild. I mean, if you're now, born you know? here, I don't know if they can revoke your citizenship. If they said, "Yo, you can," commit- no, I don't think there's a process to. I mean, other than, other than semi doing it, if they as say, as far as not being able to vote. And not having your your um, like if you murder somebody, they're right. like, "Yo, you're we're right. we're dropping you off. You're out of here." Well, I mean, they they haven't started a process. There's no known process I know of to revoke your citizenship mm-hmm. if you're born here. I don't know if you're a naturalized citizen. I don't think they can take that away from you either. Mm-hmm. I'm not for sure. But for people who are born here, I don't think they have a process for taking your citizenship. Mm-hmm. I know I'm throwing what if shit out. <laughs> It's interesting. It's I, mean, like, I, I just don't think that if more harsher penalties would make it, I mean, it might deter some. I can't say it would deter. I mean, for a guy, it for might. a guy that has family and stuff here, like yo, if you if you murder somebody or if you do, let's just say even armed robbery, like yo, we're gonna exile you, man. I mean, jail is, is uh, 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 about the same thing as that. It is, Being but having, I mean, having your a felony, if you commit a felony and it being on your record and the consequences you suffer after having one is, is basically the same thing. Yeah, but being having a felony and not being able to get work and being able to walk around and stuff is totally different from okay. Not necessarily you, you, because 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 of your because of the conditions around you. So if you if you had the felony but everybody lived like shit, it wouldn't bother you. Right, but if you're not in the country with the F on your report card, then that's different. Like, yo, you're up out of here. You got a felony and you're up out of here. Right, but We're dropping you off. Good luck. But it's the same difference because even if, if they dropped you off, you wouldn't have a felony under that particular system wherever you were. Mm-hmm. So you would have a probably have a fresher... You would probably have, I would say, maybe you would have more opportunities being dropped off in a different country than being here with a felony. Hmm. Here in a felony, you can't get a you can't get the job probably you want. You can't get certain trademark, professional uh, certifications you want. Mm-hmm. You can't be. You can't handle certain estates. Mm-hmm. You can't. I mean, there's a lot of things you can't have a gun rights. You might not be able to vote. So you are in exile inside the country. Huh. So what would be the difference? Okay, I just figured they'd be like, "Fuck it, we're dropping you off, man." Shit, drop me the fuck off. Y'all ain't got after I done this, y'all treat me like shit anyway, so <laughs> no, I mean a person can still make it. I'm just saying it, it if, they, if you get harder. dropped off at the southern border. 
You get an F on your report card. Yo, man, the only place you got to go is Mexico. Well, I speak Spanish. I can get on. For a guy that doesn't speak Spanish. A nigga from Chicago, for instance. Well, you probably going to learn pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> You have to. A nigga that did a drive by in Chicago, for instance, they say, "Yo, you're you're out, you're up out of here. We're dropping you off tonight. You can't say goodbye to your family. You're you're up out of here. You committed a murder. You got to roll. You got to roll. And you're leaving in the clothes you got. So if you got saggy pants, you better hope you got the best of shoes on because you're gonna be doing some walking. We're dropping you off at the border. Well. I mean, <laughs> if, you, if that's the process, you what, what are you gonna do? I'm making. I'm trying to make people think, like you know, because I, I think it's interesting. I mean, thinking about that, right? Because that was one of the things I thought about when the whole Capitol Hill shit happened. Like, I saw a lot of people talking about. You know, the difference is if it would have been, let's just say, for instance, we talked about it last week, how people think it could have been a difference if it was black people. Okay, well, what about the difference of how we handle stuff like that and how other countries handle stuff like that with, within, like, their governments? Because they don't play when it comes to their government officials. Like, you'll get popped right then and there. They'll fuck around and won't even ask you well, shit. Well, see, that I, think, I think that, um, that, and I could be wrong about this, Nigga have an M16 and mow down the whole crowd just trying to run up. Well, the difference is I think that if there had been a group of colored people, they would have known what is the possibility that could have happened. I mean, their experiences would have led them to believe, like I believe if there had been people of color, maybe the circumstances would have been different. So knowing that from the outset, if if, if I were planning, if somebody came to me <clears throat> with a plan to storm the Capitol in any type of way, I'd be like, y'all niggas crazy? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think that a person of color in their minds, I'm just saying because I'm one, would do something like that. So I understand what people were saying that what entitlement they felt they may have may or may not have breaking into the Capitol. This is just not any building. Mm -hmm. This is not a building downtown. This is not somebody, well, somebody home is probably just as uh, sacred as that. But I'm going to say this is the seat of government. And then you guys want to bust the windows out? I, don't, I mean, unless there was a purpose, I don't see myself doing anything like that. I don't see myself having going from a rally or just walking around protesting and all of a sudden busting the windows out of some important building in D.C. I don't see myself doing that. Not you, without a reason. You think. Um, but obviously these people thought that that was a good thing. It didn't look like an insurrection. It didn't look like they were... It just looked like they wanted to occupy the building and do whatever and holler and scheme and kick their feet up and take a little of this, destroy that. I mean, I don't see anything. I, I've been said it. I mean, the average person lives with some kind of fear every day. And I think a lot of our politicians until that day never sat up here and had to worry about a lot of everyday shit. It's not bullshit. You don't think so? Really? That shit would not. That shit right there would not have scared nobody in the hood. I, I agree with that. So that so I agree, but that but what I'm saying is what I'm saying is I think they've sat up here, here and felt so secure that something like that would happen. I, and but I agree they didn't with you. Do anything and, though. And I agree, but what I'm saying is because these people that make so much money, they don't have an insecurity like that to have to deal with. Like you just said, you know, niggas in the hood don't have that insecurity because they they already have to deal with that every day. Mm -hmm. That's that's I'm not saying that's common shit, but it's like it's almost like politicians don't have to deal with shit like that. So they're scared shitless when they have to deal with that. And like I said, me, mine, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not promoting or inciting anything. But what I'm saying is. The whole country should look to Congress crazy with that six hundred dollar stimulus. To to be able to go to the podium and say we're going to give the American people six hundred dollars, and then we're going to leave here in limos and we're going to go eat in our <laughs> our high restaurants and all that. That to me, that mentality is kind of. You think that's where they can't got it from? You think that's where it came from? Where, where? Out of that mentality that you just mentioned now. 
I think I think it's a lot of things because there's there's a black Congress. We, we could sit up here and say, you know, that's the mentality when you have money and you're white. But there's people in Congress that are people of no, color, no, too. No, no, I'm not questioning in that way. I'm just saying, do you think the decision to give the American people six hundred dollars came mostly through that thinking, through that perspective? As far as it has to out of you saying basically <clears throat> out of touch to me, it has to. Yeah, absolutely. You have to be out of touch. I like it. Like I said, I like to see the calculation. I don't. I don't like when how I, they arrived at. I don't. It, it, it makes no sense for a congressperson, especially if you're a person of color, to sit up here and say, uh, "I'm okay. I have friends that struggle. Supposedly, I have friends that struggle, and they're they're trying to make it. But you're gonna go and you're gonna sit up here and." Yay, not nay, but yay, a six hundred dollar stimulus. And I'd like to see who opposed this, or who did somebody. Well, how was this, this discussed? Nobody should. Is there? I mean, is there more to come? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like you said, they're leaving you in limbo. You got one. So you, so far, there's been I don't know how many months of lockdown. So, but so far, the American people, American people as an adult, have gotten eighteen hundred dollars. Now, if mm-hmm. person has kids. Then they get more for the kids. Right, they so get more. I don't know. It depends on how many kids. So if you have 10 kids, you could have got a whole bunch of money. If you didn't have any, you only got just the individual money. Mm-hmm. Us, we only got 600 Right. We have back child support. So everybody got varying, varying amounts. But just to think that the average person in the United, St- United States needs $1,800 with, just say, roughly five months of lockdown. In in. Ten months Ten because months because life. it was about nine months from okay well, they, it I took them nine months to get the twelve hundred dollars. No, they, they did the twelve hundred dollars. It took them nine months to work to get to the six hundred. Right. They gave us. So you say you say all this and all they come up with basically will say, I know people. Some people got more for the kids, but since there's a variable there, I'm mm-hmm. just going to use the adults. So right. the adults got eighteen hundred dollars within a, a year. Right. How did you guys figure that that it was okay? And then, and then, there's no guarantees of when the next negotiation right. would and, be. And aren't you guys still getting your salaries? Right. Right. On top of the fact that we're sending other countries millions and that millions too. of dollars. That too. <laughs> Why not suspend that and give all that money to the people? Yeah. I don't know. Like I said to me, it's Maybe, out of time. but I'm not there, so I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I like to understand how they arrive. But but that's the crazy the thing about it, though, is I think I think people are sitting up here starting to realize that you don't even have to be there to look at whatever all the stuff that they were proposing in the bill, mm-hmm. and then sit up here and say, wait, all these countries are getting this money, but the the actual American people, you work for us. You are elected. You are a servant of the people, mm-hmm. and you're giving me six hundred dollars. <laughs> you are in. You're a public official who is in so. service to me. I think some people should get fired. <laughs> like I said, there's a disconnect. Whoever, whoever didn't oppose that, and whoever didn't ask to raise it up, they should be out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever wants the lockdown. So much that people lose their livelihoods and all that, they should be out of there. Yeah. Because I don't see, you know, I, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing it being worth it. So you agree with me that the economic fallout is far greater than maybe? Oh, absolutely. In hindsight, yeah, absolutely, you were right. Some people may say it was three hundred thousand, but shit, this. Three hundred eighty-four. Well, the original calculations were way off because they said over two point five million originally. Well, I mean, it's, it's all <clears throat> estimates. It's all estimated, right? I mean, without knowing anything about a particular virus and how it, and knowing what the kill rate is. I mean, knowing what it is as people die, it's still pretty low. Well, I mean, China is still not giving data. You do you hear about the? Do you hear about the the? World Health Organization people they tried to go and I guess check a lab or some mm-hmm. shit and they magically took a test and they test or they anti they came back with the antibodies so they wouldn't let them in. Yeah, <laughs> like China, China over there giving giving positive tests out from you the ain't rim. In here. You ain't getting in here. <laughs> Thank you. They don't have to let them in. Uh, well, 
they're supposed to be uh, uh, helping who out, right? Get to the bottom of it, right? I guess. Are they? <laughs> so, here, you, you take this test for you coming here. Oh, oh, sorry, you can't come in here. Positive. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Oh, put the little laser heat gun on you. Look at you. You got 101. Matter of fact, everybody's 101. All y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I, I don't know. I, did you look at Biden's economic package that he... I didn't take a look at it yet. He just put it forth, I think, yesterday, but... I didn't. I saw that he wanted to have the try to do the mass vaccination or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting the vaccine. I mean, you know, it's an individual choice. If, I, it, if it ain't got, if it ain't got more money in the package that he's trying to put forth, and if he ain't trying to put it forth his first day, then I don't care about none of the shit he's talking about. But shit, we ain't gonna get it. Uh, just in general, it just should be money put forth in general. Deal with the fact that he's a racist. I'm sorry, and, and I get that. <laughs> I'm just, I, I mean, I have no hope for. I'm, I'm going to ignore his, his, other than Kamala being there. I'm going to ignore him too. I just, I just I think that any, I don't have any. I don't think you would think you would think that with. A, I didn't want to interrupt you, no, but no. you would think with a Democrat House now and a Democrat Senate and a Democrat President, right? Money should just be running down the pike now, right? Well, the only way he can get me back on is if he says something about reparations. Oh, you're not getting that. Well, then, well, fuck, him. <laughs> fuck him. I don't want to hear I don't give a fuck what he said. You are not getting that. Ice Cube's phone will not be ringing. I don't give a fuck then. He's a motherfucking racist from 1970. Now the motherfucker's president. So, what else? He's reformed. How? <laughs> he ain't never said how he's reformed. Did he mention how he's un uh, unracist uh, now? Kamala said in her interview. She said, "But you called. Uh, I think it was Gil King. It was somebody mm-hmm. interviewed. But you, but you in the debate, you called out Joe pretty much for being against segregation and or, or for set for right. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you pretty much were calling him a racist. And Kamala said, <laughs> "It was a debate." <laughs> I said, oh, I said, here we go. So, bitch, you was lying? She was lying. That bitch said it was a debate. But is it true? That's what she get, whoever asked it, whether it was a debate or not, but it was true. At that point, it didn't even matter. As soon as the bitch says it's a debate, I said, oh, you can see right through this bitch. <laughs> you don't even have to put this bitch to the light. Look, we can see right through this bitch right here. <laughs> don't, don't not shake it his head. You don't even have to hold her to the light. She just showed you. <laughs> it was a debate. And that's all that she said about that? I, I'll pull it up later on while I'm uploading the episode. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I said, it is I guess is her being it. vice president, she don't give a fuck right now. Don't give a fuck, right? <sighs> yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, no. That is funny. What time are we at? 53. That is hilarious. What else we got? I wish she would say how she looked. Maybe that's how she really feels. Well, you know that's how Kamala really... We, we don't know how Kamala really feels. The whole... Bre- I, I don't... Those going to the bathroom, y'all. I don't know how Kamala feels when Kamala sits up here and does interviews with the Breakfast Club and shit like that. I need real interviews. I, I know. What, ab- what about the how they were saying how she was dressed on the cover of, what it, was it Vogue? She was on Vogue? I think it was the magazine. Let's look up Kamala Harris on Vogue. Let's see what Doe's talking about. There was people, there was just a girl that was on it that does that show with the other two people on there. I forget it's a live or some shit that, I forget. She was talking about how Huh. Let's see. Vogue. Kamala. Harris. She was on the cover of Vogue? One of them. One of the magazines, I believe. 
Oh, I see it. She's, uh... She's wearing Chuck Taylors. Get that bullshit out of here. Like I said, the, the, the one plus about Kamala being in office is Kamala is very attractive. What? I can't say that? Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, she's attractive. Kamala could get it. Uh, excuse me, Kamala. You know? I mean, I should have a chance. I mean, she, she messed with Willie Brown, right? <laughs> uh, I should have a chance. You know? Her, her fucking with me is an upgrade, right? You know, just saying. Don't don't like, don't, don't like my jokes. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that is funny. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> trying to think of what else is going on. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'm refreshing as we're doing this and still no PS5s on Target. Yeah. But you're not going to take the vaccine. No, I'm not taking the vaccine. Why not? Oh, shit. I hit my elbow. Mm, nah, I just can't fuck with it. It's just me, though. What if what? Would you have taken it while you were still on the bus? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't have never taken it. You nah, lying. nah. You are such a liar. They wouldn't have got me. Nope. You are such a liar. Nope. Definitely not. I'm just not a vaccine kind of guy like that. You know. I learned to, I, I've been learning to take more natural shit, like, you know, eat more vitamin C's and, you know. Well, you should get all your vitamins from eating food, bro. No, I know, but I'm saying I, I take multi, I take multivitamins. You shouldn't need a multivitamin. If you eat right, you shouldn't need a multivitamin. I shouldn't need a multivitamin if I eat right. So what? Well, it helps build up your immunity. Not if you eat the right food. <clears throat> you get more, much more nourishment eating the right food with the vitamins in it that you're getting from the multivitamin. So you're saying if I eat an orange, that's more than a multivitamin? That's better for you than a <clears throat> multivitamin. I'm, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. I dig that. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Unless you have a deficiency of some sort. And if you don't, then I don't see why we would eat the, the food with the food that has the vitamins in it or the metals in it. I got a shenanigans deficiency. <laughs> Come on, so we get in the episode. You know. Uh, niggas got 20,000 goddamn soldiers for a Biden inauguration. You got what? I said over 20,000 soldiers for a Biden inauguration. Oh, man, we're going to talk about this. Yeah. What it looks like going to happen, huh? Are you, are you off the bus? Well, I'll, I'll wait for you to come out. Another bus to nowhere. Mm -mm. I didn't got on a bus to nowhere. <laughs> that is not a song. Bus to nowhere is not a song. 
I tell you what, though, I, I saw something with Lisa Murkowski the other day. I forgot what it was, but I am going to say it right here. I will be do- donating money to whoever her opponent is. Oh, <laughs> I have not forgot. I don't care if Lisa Murkowski's running against pots and pans. I'm <laughs> donating the pots and pans campaign. Facts. <laughs> If it though if I, if I'm gonna donate as the Chronicles podcast, I'll do it. But if you're not trying to be involved, then I'll donate as an individual. But I am definitely I don't care who she's running against. I'm donating to their campaign. You already know. They probably gonna show up in my house. I'm gonna donate so much. They're going to be like, who is this guy? We got to go see him. Who is this guy donating all this money? Facts. I don't even think she's going to sit up here and make it if she's run, running again. But, hey. Come on, nigga. This dude. See, this is what happens, y'all, when Doe get to drinking coffee. My stomach's growling too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna give me a donut. You put it in the air. I'm gonna give me a donut after this. You know. You gotta go to Costco and stock up. This is why you should never drink coffee before we record. This is exactly why. That's different, but you normally don't. You normally don't. You normally don't. Have to use the bathroom. That's true whether you drink coffee or not. Mm-mm. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Camellia. <laughs> I wonder if she's going to dance to that song as her entrance. It would be hard. You know. Mm -mm. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, 20,000 plus troops. What? 20,000 plus troops. What about it? The question. What about it? I don't know. You were saying it in there. You said we forgot to talk about it. Oh, yeah, that was was the question for you. What? Why does it take 25,000 troops for this? And then we started talking about the Capitol some more, I think, and all that shit. I don't know what we were talking about. Mm-hmm. They want to make. They want to waste the go- taxpayers' money. Hmm. Oh no, we were talking about the inauguration. 
if he was right. still on the bus or not. I mean, riding the bus. We'll, we'll find way. out in less than a week. We'll know, right? Okay. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, it's going to take you that long to get on off? Right. No, you know. Yeah, you're going to walk right into the, to, to, <laughs> into the stop. So. Maybe. I mean, if... Okay. Next week I might have a lot to talk about. And next week I might not. Oh, I you just supposed have to, to keep the same energy, aren't you? Oh, I keep the same energy. Okay. Regardless, our show will be fantastic with well, or without. I, oh, don't hide behind the show now, brother. Oh no, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, our show is going to be phenomenal, regardless. Mm-hmm. But, like Man, I said, if I was just wondering if you were still on the bus. If by chance I'm correct. Next week might be our our best episode Nigga, ever. It might be. It, it might stop be. Stop it! All right. Stop it! All right. That is not happening, man. All right. Okay. And you're a hundred percent sure. I'm just asking you if you're a hundred percent sure. My I say this: my percent is higher than your percent. Okay. Put it that way. All right. What percent is you at? I'm not saying my percentage. All right then. So, until you say your percentage, don't ask me if I'm 100%, okay? <laughs> uh, now, how about that? So, if something happened, would you be shocked? No. If something happens, are you going to call me immediately? No. Nope. You're not going to call me at all? I, I won't be able to beat you to the phone. No, I won't call you if something happens. Bullshit. I won't. I, won't. I promise Bullshit. I won't. Now you say that because you just mentioned it. If if something happens, I know my phone's soon, gonna be ringing. Soon as it happens, I can I, I know I couldn't get to the phone to dial your nope. number fast enough before you call. I'll me. be at like, work watching like everybody else. Whatever. Yeah, you'll be watching the inauguration. Yeah, I know you will. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You see the pictures of him back in his shit? Are those real pictures? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Just like somebody sent me a picture of him supposedly like vandalizing the the, the Oval Office and shit, leaving trash every. Come on. I mean, you know, it's not it's not a one bedroom apartment. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people want to believe. That's what they want to believe. Just like that little document that came that was worded all General Affidavit. Oh, oh, that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what an official it, affidavit looks like, so I don't know. I don't know if different countries have affidavits. I didn't put any time in. Af- of course, different countries have affidavits. Right, it I'm talking about the, legal. I'm talking about the looks of it, though. I, I didn't put time into researching that, though. That's what I'm saying. So I didn't, you know. I saw something about I call that. It a fake. I saw something about that online, and then you showed it to me, but I haven't put any. I thought into a fake. that. I read a little bit of it. It doesn't sound like any type of legal document that I've seen. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Fugazi. Hey. What else, man? Th- yeah. That was it. I mean, it's it's showtime, right? What showtime? We'll, we'll know in less than a week. Well, you I know my phone's going to ring if something pops up. You already off. know Biden's president. Mm-hmm. As far as we know, yeah. Okay, then. You, you, you know. You got to wait till the next. Till it actually happened to get off the bus? What do you, I gotta wait till it happens to get off the bus? Yeah, you gotta wait till uh, 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 he gets inaugurated to get off the bus? I, I already said if he gets inaugurated, he gets inaugurated. I know, but I'm just saying you won't get off now. Everything I say and do is always for the good of the podcast. If Biden stays and if Biden gets inaugurated, it's still good for us. If no, he, if not, something not, happens, it's good for us. I'm not talking about for the show. I'm we win that. regardless. But I'm, go ahead. No, 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 no. You lose if you get. I, I, me, I will lose. But so the podcast. What, but that, I'm not talking. Yeah. We ain't talking about the podcast. I'm talking about you. <laughs> you just want me to get the hell. I'm talking though. No, I mean. I, if, if I take one, then I take one. I'm just saying. I want to know if you got to wait to inauguration to get off the bus. You won't concede now. No, I won't concede now. Ride or die, bus ride. If if something happens, though, if something happens, next weekend when we sit at this table and I look at your face, you are probably going to have one of the most, I can't even describe what your face is going to be. <laughs> What would you say? Can I get a preview of what you might have to say? Can I get a preview of what you're going to have to say? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I would say congratulations to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Congratulations. Thank you. 
That wouldn't be fake. Yeah, that would be. I could congratulate. That's fake him. as a motherfucker. I congratulate anybody, whether or not. You know, when uh, I'm not a LeBron James fan, I don't watch basketball like that, but I congratulated him when he won his championship. I congratulate people I don't like like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Contrary to the belief, Cuzzo's not a hater. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Cuzzo's not. I'll congratulate. You know? I don't know where the fuck you get that from. You know? Petty man. You know? So, yeah. We'll see, but I don't got nothing else. You ain't got nothing else? No. It's showtime. I'm about to go and go eat me some breakfast so I can go study. See, you open the door. No, I'm just saying I'm going to go study. You know? Well, I could be going to study porn. I could be going to study a lot of things. (laughs) I was going to talk about a week ago. Uh, Never mind. Uh, you know, I could be studying a lot of things, right? If you say so. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. All right, we out. We out, baby. Holla.